What's good, y'all? Person I job back here. So as y'all know, Madden Mobile released, what was it, last week or something? And I'm going on the upgrades and all that, and they have basically two builds for each position. For quarterback, they got field general, then scrambler. Running back, they got power back slash receiving back. Receiver, they got deep threat slash slot receiver. And then tight end, they got deep threat slash possession. So honestly, when I looked at all the names and stuff, I already knew what stuff I was going to pick, all that, you know what I'm saying, deep threats, scrambler, and all that. But then when I actually looked at, like, the stats, like, the uh, attributes they gave him, like, the ratings and all that, it told a different story. You know what I'm saying? Now, starting off with quarterback, I'm obviously going to go with scrambler. You know what I'm saying? You get that dual threat. They never know what you're going to do. You know what I'm saying? Keep the defense off guard. Now, the main reason I picked the scrambler, obviously because, you know what I'm saying, the footwork and all that, 92 speed. Compared to a field general who has 86 speed. Then you got 93 agility compared to 90 agility. Then this was the real seller. 95 acceleration compared to 86 acceleration. There's probably going to be some pretty good pass rushers on the yard. So uh, that's something to look out for. But it all depends on what you are. If you like a Drew Brees type quarterback, you know what I'm saying? I'd probably go with a little, with a little um, the field general and all that. But if you like a Lamar Jackson, you know what I'm saying, a Patrick Mahomes, Russell Wilson type quarterback, which most of us are, I go with the scrambler. All right, now the next position is running back. Now, y'all know me. I'm not really a running back, you feel me? I run the ball every once in a while. But mostly, you know what I'm saying, I'm that dot city type of person. But uh, for running back, I would pick a power back. I would pick a power, you know what I'm saying, running back. The main reason why is because you look at trucking. 94 trucking compared to an 80 trucking. If you know me, if you're a, okay, let's say you're a, what, what, what was the other one? A receiving running back. And you got the ball. If you coming up the middle and I have Toby Johnson at safety, bro, I am going to hit stick the, mm, mm, but boy, 80 trucking. I just feel like it's not enough strength there. I mean, he has 90 strength compared 90 strength, eh. The only reason I'd pick a receiving running back is if, is if you want to be like a, I don't know, like a Dalvin Cook. Then you look at the awareness. They both have 99 awareness. Ooh, but they were catching. 98 catching compared to a 91 catch. I guess if you wanted to be a hybrid, you know what I'm saying, receiver slash running back, I guess that could work. But uh, I'm picking power back for the half pack position. Now, the next position we got is wide receiver. Now, when I first looked at this, I said I'm going for deep threat. Obviously, you know what I'm saying? I grew up watching Mike Wallace, you know what I'm saying? Speed Demon. But then when I actually looked at the stats and specifically route running, at 87 route running compared to a 95 route running. If you want to be a player like Antonio Brown or even a guy like Deontay Johnson, just like somebody that's like shifty, and can make like they have a an unlimited route tree then i'd go with the slot receiver now if you want to be a guy like michael thomas and not have like a bunch of routes to run or like maybe a guy like julio jones and you want to be able to make all those spectacular catches and all that i'd go with the deep there because when you look at spectacular catch 98 spec catch compared to a 91 spec catch if you try and be a guy like you know what I'm saying mike evans you know julio calvin johnson I'd go deep that, but me personally, I'm going with the slot receiver. Slot receivers have better catching traffics. A lot of people don't really know what catching traffic really means. Basically, it's, you know what I'm saying, if you about to get hit, not even if you're going to get hit, just like if a defender is like right next to you, your ability to catch the ball in traffic. So as you can see, slot receivers have a 97 catching traffic compared to a 92 catching traffic. I like that because I like a consistent receiver that can catch the ball. All right, for the last one, we got tight end. Now, tight end, once again, there's only two specialties you can pick. Possession tight end versus deep threat tight end. And really, there's only two, like, big differences between possession and then deep threat. Possession, you get a better catch in traffic, 98 catch in traffic, compared to 89 catch in traffic. Then for deep threat, you got a 98 spectacular catch compared to 89 spectacular catch. So it's really what type of tight end you're making. If you're making like a, I'd say like a, maybe like a Gronkowski type tight end, I'd go up deep threat. 
But if you're making like a maybe like an Antonio Gates type tight end, I'd go with possession tight end. Me personally, even though I don't play tight end, I'm probably gonna go with the possession tight end because when I think of a tight end, I think of like a safety blanket. You know what I'm saying? A guy you go to like when you're about to get sacked, or a guy you go to, you feel me, as like your like little pin cushion. If that makes sense. <laughs> what the hell? But uh, that's the video for today, y'all. You know what I'm saying? The best builds in Madden 21 Mobile. Once again, the only really big thing I could see, like, big difference in positions would be at quarterback, the field general versus scrambler. That's really the only thing I can really see. All the other positions, it's really up to you. Make what you want to do. Um, but that's the video for today, y'all. Leave a like if you like the video. Subscribe if you're new. Comment down below what uh, positions or like if y'all got any questions on these builds and stuff. But anyway, y'all, peace out.